Hello everyone and welcome to another compiler video. Today we're going to uh, to uh, try and implement variables. Uh, I've done some stuff out of camera. I've just added a readme file um, with some uh, to do's here. So uh, um, Right now we're going to work on um, the first one here, var uh, variable assignments. So what I want to be able to do, uh, let's clean this up, or maybe we can add another file actually. Um, main is equal to int uh, argc int uh, argv array string and return zero print hello let's just see if this works first uh, no, it didn't print anything. Oh, I have to run it. Okay, so that works. So what I want to be able to do now is something like uh, my var string is equal to hello, hello, and I want to print my var. Uh, right now, if we try to compile that, we're going to get an unexpected token because it doesn't have variable assignments yet. at least not like this. Um, I think you can actually do that and it's going to work. It shouldn't work, but it does work, so it's a bug. But we want to implement this type of thing. So if we go to, we need to start starting the parser actually. Why are you mad? Okay. Well, I don't care. So when we're parsing an ID, we're doing this equal sign here, which is actually not. Um, that's not where we want to put it. So we actually want to. Parse list. We actually want to par. We actually want to. Uh, we actually want to put this. at the end of these things. So we want to put it here. And why am I doing that? equal to value. Okay, so we don't really need, we don't need to initialize another AST, we can just change the type of the current one. So what we would do is uh, AST type is equal to AST. Oh, we don't. Yeah, we have a sign. Uh, sign. Assignment. I think that should be. It. Yeah, now it compiles. So now it's possible to do that, but obviously it's not going to work. So why does it not work? Well, we're pushing a ESP because we are encountering a variable at the print here, but ESP doesn't really contain what we want it to contain. Because when we visit this assignment here, we're not really, we're not really pushing it onto the stack yet. So we have to go into the front end 
and when we visit a assignment we already have some stuff that we do if it's a function but if it's not a function we have to we have to push it to the stack so how would we do that so first of all the assignment is going to have a value so let's just do an, uh, an else type of thing here <coughs> so the value in this case in our case it's going to be a string but you know we shouldn't really care what kind it is So, what I would like to do is uh, so what do we do here if it's a function? We don't do anything. So, what I'm going to do is actually AST function function and we need to define this so um, so basically sure is f function we're going to move this stuff into there to make this function a bit more generic so actually the uh, yeah we do want to push all of that we do want to have all of that inside of there so all of this stuff is going into here and um, we might actually calloc the string here so we're going to do a calloc uh, char s calloc sterling and then we need to return And by the way, we can free is well, well. Okay, and then we're going to do, do um, we're going to do sharp value s is equal to asf st value. And then we're going to stir cat s with value s free value s. Uh, so now it's going to do that for every kind of assignment. Sig fault. the name is in the assignment I see so the function what if we put the name on the function as well so if we go here uh, 
function. So we can do this t value name is equal to make string. So it's not really. We don't have access to it here. Okay. Parse list. So that's unfortunate. Parse list. So let's not do it here. Parse list. So we're doing it here as well. So here we can actually do is t value name is equal to make string is t is t name still problems okay parse list parse list still token equals parse oh wait I think I know what the problem is so this is actually No, there shouldn't be a problem. So uh, the assignment print F. Sister for some reason. It's called parser parse list. Parser parse list. Parser parse list. Okay. And then we need to do Of course, doesn't have the name. Um, okay. Uh, okay. So when we parse the, why are you doing this? Parse the ID. The value is actually mm, call, and the value of the call. Oh, this is not correct. <laughs> Forgot what I was doing. Um, print my string is equal. My string is equal to hello. Uh, um, oh, now I remember. So uh, this is wrong. 
So the assignment, we actually want this to be here. Um, parse expression. So the value has that name. Cool. And then in our front end, we could actually just push it here. So So what we can do is um, if is value type is equal to function, then we're going to list push list ext. And then here we can do and then we can do ESG parent is equal to list list size minus one list sign And then we can do char name is equal to parent. So it still won't work because this needs to be as well as well is equal to AS team value. As well is equal to your problem.
then Return us, return us, return us, milk. Small value. So the function value is going to be the compound. Still in this. So you're pushing to the list. Maybe it gets problematic because we have pushed stuff to the list. So um, I think the problem is that. Not the problem. So what? What's wrong with you? I don't get it. Okay. Well, that one seems to be fine, but why is this not fine? Plus one, seems to be fine. Yes, he's wrong. Free. Oh, wait, we need to reallocate this one. So we need to do value as one. There we go. Still not executable though, because there are some other things we need to do. And that's how I want it. So what do we got now? So we're pushing the string now.
then we're pushing 8 ESP which is wrong which is wrong so first of all when we encounter a assignment we actually need to make room for it on the stack for the address so what we would have to do is our uh, sub template is equal to sub for uh, ESP and char sub calloc sterling sub template plus one size of char string cp uh, sub Double template. No, uh, double, and then we actually want to. I think we want to. Yeah, we want to push. We want to do that. The first thing we do. So sub. To, uh, free sub so what do we got it's not oh we forgot to strict at it uh, strict at s sub New line, of course. So now we got space to to add this address. Okay. Now the problem is that we don't know. Um, we don't know where we where this thing exists but in theory we would do move esp into uh, minus eight edp i think or yeah, minus eight. And then we would push minus eight EBP. Yeah, so that would do it. But the problem is that we don't know the compiler doesn't know what index we should put this on the stack because we don't have anything for that. So like the compiler needs to needs to um, have some internal state and knowledge about where where each variable exists so basically Maybe we should have like virtual stack frames. Um, in the visitor or some shit. So I think that makes sense to have stack frames like that. 
So, so basically, what if we create a stack frame dot age? just going to have a list so include list list of age uh, stack frame t and you're gonna have a list t Call it stack. Uh, stack frame T in it. Stack frame. I think it will just be a list of strings. each AST node we would have a pointer to which stack frame it belongs to so stack frame T frame Start compiling. Yep. So now I think the could do it in a visitor or the parser. Or the parser. What well, makes more sense? I think we should do it in a parser. Or should we? Going to. So if we put it in a visitor. Well, it doesn't really matter, does it? But here is where we will optimize things later. So if we put it here, maybe even that part can be optimized. Oh, let's put it here. So what we'll do is uh, when we encounter something that requires a new stack frame, we're going to create a new stack frame. So this also requires us to We're actually going to include a stack frame in the header file. So we're going to put it up here and we're going to have every, I wonder if we could even push, no, 
So we're gonna put we're gonna put the uh, stack. Wait, that list is already sort of a stack frame. Anyway, uh, so we're gonna put stack frame t stack frame on every single uh, signature, and we'll inside of this we will keep track of where where things are. So I think we should have a global stack frame so the visitor will actually have a stack frame t stack frame or do we need that we might not actually need that i don't think we need it let's not have that so then in our visitor uh when we start visiting we're going to uh, of course, we're going to have to pass this down, so... Okay, and then when we encounter a compound, The stack frame actually should have, should be is t struct instead, so we need to include wiring mode. Included you here is T struct. Is T struct. Oh, oh wait, I know what you promise. There we go. Um, so What? 
There we go. So now when we when we encounter a uh, variable, for example, we're going to do var stack frame is equal to stack frame. And we're gonna do list push uh, bar stack frame stack bar. So okay, and then in our list, I want to add a method. Where are you? There you go. So we're gonna do unsigned int list get index list index off uh, for and uh, Should actually make it an in. And then we're going to return minus one. If it fails, and now in our ST front end, when we encounter a variable. Should be able to do something like this. Um, int stack index go to um, list index off uh, var stack frame stack var and if stack index is equal to minus one turn zero, otherwise print it. Mm, sig fault. Okay, we'll fix that in the next part. See you.